Yo, welcome back. So we are in the van. He's here. We, he is here. Yeah, so uh, on the way to the first job. However, I put out a video last night. So I'm going to jump in. Everyone needs to guess what I have lost this morning. Well, I'm not even this morning. Last week, I've lost something. You've lost? I don't know. An apprentice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Yeah, so uh, AM2 was a couple weeks ago. I only put the video out last night uh, as... Yeah, I just got, didn't get around to editing and stuff like that. But yeah, so I've had the results back, got a distinction, so it's all right, innit? You're welcome. You're welcome, <laughs> I take a little amount of credit. Yeah, you got the practical side, yeah. I got the practical side. Theory, no good. <laughs> um, yeah, so thanks again to everyone that helped me, Nick and GSH and Mark Allison, all them lot who've helped me with the free phase and just tips and tricks and stuff. So everyone messaged me saying, oh, what, you got any tips, stuff like that. Just go and watch GSH's videos on the tips and tricks, because he's got a video for that. But yeah, so we're on the way to the first job. Got extractors to do all day, so we're in the loft. The joys, there's actually two, isn't there, to do? There's two, so we did the job previous, and there's no soffits, and if you remember from my video, you yeah. did that, so, did you film the outside light? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I did like a yeah. proper lantern, uh, and they've had two air vents, uh, tile vents fitted, so we're gonna go do one each. And I put my yeah. trousers on the first time in a year because my knees hurt because I'm getting old. Yep, mine as well, I just forgot to put my trousers on. But yeah, I'll see you at the job. Right, we're at the job. So this is a job where Nick put that outside light up and I previously put that one up. We had some feedback from the customer saying they're both mint. So jobs are good that's on that. exactly what she said. Yep. Nick added up, that's mint. Yep. So uh, now we've got some stuff out. So four inch hole saw, dade, mask, and then we've got a little game to see who can go in the loft. Heads oh. or tails? Only your tails. My tails guy. I was about to say I'll go heads, but there's only two two Push options. <laughs> right. Ooh. It's tails. <laughs> because it's a crap loft, and you haven't got any trousers on, and I preempt. That sounds weird. <laughs> because you're wearing shorts, I'll go loft. I don't mind. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right, you're the boss, get in the loft. <laughs> Gold card, let Right, we're in the bathroom. bathroom now, so this is bathroom one, the master bathroom. So what we're doing is getting the extractor there, so that's in line with the center of the shower. Well, it's a bit weird, this, I've put center of the shower rail and mixer, but then the shower head of it is a bit bent because I think that fixing is a touch loose, but I'm gonna go with the center of that, not the center exactly of the head. We're only talking a couple of centimeters, but I'd rather it be center to that and center to the uh, bathtub so we're going for that and then the edge of the joist is about here so it's 600 from that wall there Nick's poked his head up in the loft and give us the measurement and then we've gone horizontally in line with that light fitting so we've got a bit of a L shape here with the shower head the light fitting and then the uh, extractor grill that's going to go on there so I'll get that cut I think Nick's just setting up the date for me and uh, I think he's setting up the fan as well, so we're going to have a look. Here he is, setting up the uh, fan number one, number uno. Yes, gold card boss. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Some of these fans, you have to link them out, don't you? Yes, this is a timed fan, says the customer. We, to our knowledge and experience, our, from a basic standard electrician, a gold card electrician, <laughs> uh, anyone with kids is better having it to come on and off with the light. If they have a shower, they have the light on, you're not going to fail. Um, so we just link through the timed fans, so you got... Uh, LS and L, so we just put a link through and then bang the live and your neutral in. Put a bit of earth sleeve on, bang it on, jobs are good. And get this pre prepped up with a meter or two meters with a cable. So when I go up in a bit, I'm oh, sorry, it's you, isn't it? Yeah. We can just take them with us, pop the feed straight into the light fin, it can be connected up, the ducting can be done. It's a lot easier instead of having to do this in the loft, there's nothing worse. Been to the van, got the stud buddies out, so as you can see, they're literally just magnets. They uh, show where the joists are, so they're attached into the screws of where the plasterboard attaches to the beams. So straight away, if I move across, you can see we're in between dead center of the troughs and that measurement is 600. So that's usually the standard uh, spacing for the age of this house between the uh, joists. So gonna get the drill, go for that. I'm gonna double, triple check that everything looks in line. Right, I'm gonna drill that. I've just double, triple checked. So we've got a four inch one. He's got me tippy toes. That was a good one. What I did there was, I couldn't actually see where the pilot hole was perfectly. So on these hole saws, they have the holes on the side. So I was looking for the hole on the side, see where the hole saw, get it in the center of the X, and then just slowly get the one side through, then do the other side. Um, but yeah, I'll do that. And then I uh, got the fan box to empty the rubbish in. So that's that cut, nice and smooth. I've uh, pushed a bit of the insulation out of the way so Nick can find it. I can see right up now. 
and then uh, that should just slot in there like a glove. That's what we like. So I'll mark around that now through the holes. Uh, probably do about three, four holes on that. I'm not going to use them all. One of my videos had someone shouting at me saying I didn't use every single hole, but I think if you put in six screws in that, it's a bit excessive. Now we're at this stage, so I've got my red plugs in, as you can see, poking through a bit. Uh, these are actually six mil plugs because I did the trick of poke a small flathead screwdriver through, then use your uh, crosshead screwdriver, BZ2, whatever you want to call it, poke that through. And then uh, if you get six mil plugs, they're just a touch bigger and they fill the hole a bit better. So if you use the 5.5 five plugs, they sometimes, when you tighten the screw up, they just spin and slip through. So if you use the six mil plugs, all right, I've got to put the camera on the side for this because I need both hands, but I've already put two screws in, just put another two in. It's perfecto. So screw that up, and then last one, but that ain't going anywhere. I think uh, if you're in the shower, you could probably dangle from that, but if the customer's watching, don't, because obviously you know what I mean. Yeah, so that's all four in now. That's mint, so always get your stud buddies back as well. We have uh, left them on the ceiling before, and then had to go back and get them. That's ready now for Nick when he's in the loft to come here, attach the duction to it, and then the final stage down here will just be pushing that off and twist that on. Drop the light fit in so we can wire it into the light fit in. As you can see, there is, <laughs> there is Nick. So uh, yeah, he's in the loft. So if you're an apprentice and you're down here, just make sure you've done everything you can. So I've been in the other bathroom, got done the exact same process as in here. Nick's currently stuffing the ducting on. So it'll make sure that's nice and tight. Cable tie it. And we like to put a layer of tape around it as well. So it's just a bit extra. And then he's gonna take it straight up into the tile vent and there'll be another um, like four inch bit of pipe or such so you slide it over and then cable tight on. So when you're down here, just make sure you can do everything you can. So prep the light, take it down, have a look to see what we're working with. Have a think to yourself, oh, am I gonna need some Wagos in a minute or something like that? So go get some Wagos from the van, get some screws, get anything you're gonna need. I'll also just add, I have listed my car for sale. So that's going, hopefully fingers crossed soon and then i've been and looked at a few vans so yeah we're getting there um getting the process rolling as such of yeah becoming a proper electrician so technically i'm not a apprentice anymore even though like everyone says you don't actually start learning learning until now and there we have it this is another bathroom so the fan's done whilst we were there we uh, had to rejig the light anyway and then the customer said oh i've got another light so we just swapped it for her because we had it in bits anyway so Swapped it over. There is two bulbs missing because the customer only had two on them because um, I didn't realise it come with, didn't come with the bulbs, G9s. So they're going out later to grab some. So just leaving it like that for now. Just make sure you tidy up your work. So give this a quick hoover around and then uh, hoover around on the other one. We are done. 11 o'clock, it's not too bad. We weren't having like, we weren't going 100%, was we? Probably... I was just crying. As soon as I got out of the loft, I was like, yeah. I'm not doing that anymore. I was just sat, sat downstairs on my phone, really, watching you in the lot. Is that what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, just when I got some fuel, I got a cheeky sausage and bean and cheese melt. You've got a bacon, bacon and bacon. cheese twist thing. And then you've also got Ooh. chicken slice. Mm. So we are heading back to, what we're we on now? It's my mother-in-law's to fix an aircon unit, like a portable one. I say fix it, put it together, she's brand new. Yeah, so we've got that on, and then I think we've got some quotes to do, so. Yeah, I might be able to show you something at the aircon if, but well, it's just following instructions, so we'll see. Well, that was eventful. So we went about 20 minutes drive the other way. Yeah. And Nick's mother-in-law wasn't in, so yeah, couldn't do that. And then we drove about 20 minutes completely the other way and they weren't in. Alrighty then. So yeah, not good. Let's go home. Yeah, pretty much. You've got some little bits and bobs to do, haven't you? Go, yeah, it's go, go shopping. So that's what Nick's doing. I'm gonna go home and finish uploading all my certificates and stuff to ECS for your gold card thing. What's a gold card, mate? <laughs> like, it's just constant it now. It never stops. You did start it, though. When? When did I start the gold card conversation? Yeah, you did. You, got, you called me gold card boy. Yeah, true. Yeah, see, he's backtracking again. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll just add as well, I'm in the process, like I said, in the bathroom of selling my car and I've looked at a few vans. So I'll put a few photos on the screen now of the vans 
well, I've looked at this one in particular, I've been seeing it in person because I wanted to get a feel for how big a long wheelbase Ford Transit Connect was because I've only ever seen the short wheelbase ones. So I went and had a look, it's a really smart van, so fingers crossed I can get this one as long as um, it's mechanically sound, I'm going to take my dad because he's a mechanic. Um, but yeah, I'll put a few pictures on screen now so you'll see it's dead smart, the back's all... Um, insulated and then carpeted as the people before were using it as like a bit of a weekend camper thing i think just put like a mattress in the back and just traveling around a bit I sounds might, wrong but i might yeah put one in the back if your mum wants to go all the way at some point <laughs> use a mattress in the back of here but uh yeah so i've put some photos on and it looks really smart so that's the kind of thing i'm going for and then it's the same color as your van in it yeah it's exactly the same yeah the, so it's a limited as well so it's the same spec as this just the smaller yeah it's like the baby version of nicks but I think when you turn up at a customer's house in a not overly expensive van, but a nicer smart, looking. Like after it, yeah. yeah, I think it's just a better business model or such. I'd say. I mean, you got some older guys that turn up in rust buckets and transits with rust all over it, and they could do just the same job as us, like just as good. It, it, but to us, its image is, I'd say, more important, but it's different nowadays. Younger people in the trades are putting more money in the, into the business of making it look a bit more professional possibly yeah but we end up spending more money and less money in our pocket because we have nicer vans so it swings and roundabouts yeah and then i've also got the thing of i'm selling my car so i'm still going to be like going to football and using it on the weekends as such as a car or such well personal use as well so i don't want do you know what i mean it's a bit it's one of them isn't it? yeah, you want it to be not i'd use the van all the time i drive it everywhere and yeah i love this so i'd rather drive this than the car so yeah but yeah so that's going to be it for this video uh it was just a quick little video to tell you my progress so yeah thanks for watching thanks for all the help from everyone and i'll catch you next one bye bye